we have 98 orders in our Wix website. And today I'm going to show you how we bulk process them because making the shirts per order gets confusing real quick and having to do that 98 times will drive me crazy. So if you're on Wix or planning to use it, stay tuned because this process is going to make things so much easier for you. Let's make t-shirts time for a fun day so right now we are in the wix backend we're gonna go to unfulfilled some of you might have to go to uh to fulfilled to do this but this is where we have all of our unfulfilled orders so i'm just gonna check on this and then i'm gonna click on print so that i can uh print out their pick list but we're not gonna use this until we actually pack them and ship them uh but it's nice to have them uh early on just so we can uh, have them ready for when we're ready to ship. So it generates a PDF and I'm gonna click on print and I kind of like to save on paper a little bit. So I click on more settings and pick two, two pages per sheet. That way they're small enough so that two orders or two pages of orders are gonna fit on one sheet, but not small enough so that they can't be read. So they can easily read this and then I'm just gonna click on print like so and it's gonna print out in on our printer. All right, now that that's done, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on export. And we only have two columns that we're exporting here. That's the great thing about Wix is you can, you know, select which columns you want to export. We only need two because of the way our store is set up. So those two are just the item and the variants. And when I click on export, it is going to download it. And then once we have that, we are going to upload it to our Google Drive. Not that one. Okay, here. So I'm going to upload that here. File upload. And then I'm going to find it. And just replace existing file because what I really should do is change the file name because we've had, you know, we just upload it as the file called orders. I was going to upload there. I'm going to move you a little bit. And as you can see there, it's a version two of orders number six. Uh, once it's fully uploaded, you're going to see that green check mark. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on open with and then Google Sheets. And this is the view that you have right now. So you're gonna have two columns there because we exported two columns. You have your item column, which is your design names, and then your variant, which is all the details of uh, the order. So what I'd like to do next is right click on B, insert column to the left, like so, and I'll explain to you, and you'll see what we're gonna use that for in a little bit. And then I left click on the first row here, to highlight the whole first row and then I click on view freeze freeze one row and that way no matter how we move you know through the items in this list the first row is going to be frozen in place and we always know you know what each row represents so next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to right click on uh, column a here and just organize them in alphabetical order and then I'm going to go to C and again do that in alphabetical order and this just for the most part it's not always perfect but for the most part it brings all the bundles to the top so these are all bundles this is a bundle these are bundles yep so all of these are going to be bundles there and then yeah so the problem is we still have all the different details of each order in one column so what we're going to do next is we're going to split them by column i'm going to left click on column c here and then I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to split text to columns. And here at the bottom, it says, what separator do you want to use to separate them? And if I don't know if you see this, but this like vertical line here, that's what we're using, or that's what Wix is using for a separator. So again, see data, split text to column. And I'm going to click on custom here. And I'm going to use that vertical line, which is just above your enter button. So it's a press on shift and then the vertical line just above the enter button. And then when you press enter, do that. So now if you go back there, you notice how here, for example, you have shirt one size medium and then the vertical uh, separator and then shirt two size medium. When I did the whole data split text, it separated it into two different columns there. So next step is for the bundles. The way I do that is just right click on this row here. When you right click, it's gonna give you options. So I'm just gonna add insert one row below and I'm gonna put that down there. And then 
uh, the way that we name it, you know, you have different naming conventions, but ours is like markings purple, is shirt one, and markings black is shirt two. So we just did this. So we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing for the rest of these and these. And then I'm gonna show you our next step. So now we got that part done. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to split some cells again, because again, for the bundles that we have, you can see here, the color, the garment type, and the size are all still you know, in one column, column. So we're going to do another one of those data split text columns. But now we're gonna use, notice how when it says detect automatically, it uses the space or tries to detect the space and splits them up based on the space between uh, characters. But if you don't get that, you can just click on the separator here and click on space and it's going to do the same thing. So we're going to do it with that and this and that and this. And again, this might be a little bit different from you because these are some extra steps that we have to take for our bundle shirts. And now, you know, now that we have all the information kind of separated from one another, we're just going to put them in the right columns. So the columns here, we're going to change the names to design, type, size, and color. So our types are the shirts. We have a tote there. This goes to size. And I know that there's probably a way to automate this somewhere, but right now we are doing things manually. It's not a perfect process yet, but you know, it's working right now and we're just going to improve things as we go. Oh, look at that. Let's go there. We need these two. We're going to move these over this way. All yeah, right. Okay. And here at the bottom, we have all of these. So to select everything from that cell all the way to the bottom, just press click, shift, and then down. I'm gonna choose everything all the way to the end of the list. And then I just press Control X and I move it to the cell that I wanna move it into. It used to go here, but again, Control Shift and down. Chooses all of them. And I just move them to that column with a Control V. And I'm just gonna finish cleaning this up with a little bit more of a time lapse. And then we're gonna check it. And I'm gonna show you how we summarize all these into a table. All right, so this part, see, I have some garment types that just says shirt, and then I have some that says type shirt. So just to make it all, you know, uniform, we're going to remove the word type and then the column. And the way I do that is on the keyboard, I just press Control F to get this search box out. And then I'm going to type in type and then column. It's going to highlight all of the cells that have type column in it. I'm going to left click on this three dots here. I'm just going to say find type column, replace with whatever you want to replace it with. I'm just going to leave that blank because I just want to delete it. And then what I'm going to do is click on replace all. And now that takes all of that off. So let me just go back to that. Before I did that whole replace with process, it had the word type on it. But after I did that, it removes all all of that now we're ready to process everything we're going to put them all in a table that summarizes how many of each design in what size and color we need so to do that we're going to go to the end of the spreadsheet i'm going to click on the last cell there in this case it's color white and then i'm going to go to data no not data i'm going to go to insert pivot table and then i'm going to create a new sheet there so this new sheet's going to have nothing on it but here on the right, you're going to have an editor where you can tell the pivot table what to put where. So we're going to start with the rows. I'm going to click on add 
design it's going to give you the designs in a column but it's a you know but here it says rows because the designs are going to be broken down by row i'm going to uncheck that because i don't want the totals there i'm going to add another row which is the type and again i'm going to uncheck that because that's going to skew our information later and then another one that says color and i'm going to uncheck that so now we're gonna have rows that are broken down by design type, garment type, color, and for columns, we're gonna add size because we wanna break it down by size. And I'm gonna keep show totals for this so that we can add them all up later. And then for values, I'm gonna move you a little bit here, but for values, we're gonna add size as well. There you go. And so, you know, now we have them by design, by garment type, and then we break that down by color, and then we break it down by size. And when we go all the way to the end here, if you go to this next cell and just insert function sum, and we highlight all of the total numbers there, it's gonna tell us how many garments we need to do today. So I'm gonna, once I've highlighted all of that, I'm gonna press enter. And it tells me that we're gonna be making 311 shirts, sweaters, and hoodies. So now this is just a matter of formatting. I like to highlight all of the cells right to the left of the total and then just merge them and write the word total so that there's no miscommunication with the people uh, pressing them. And then I like to highlight this uh, the whole table and add all borders so that we can separate each column and each row well each cell and that makes it easier to understand another thing that i like to do is just change all the colors the cell colors to white and all the font to black so to do that i'm going to press Control a so that i can select all of your active cells and then i'm going to change the fill color to white and the text color to black there you go. So that when I print it out, it's going to look, you know, really organized. And before we do that, we're just going to check for, you know, formatting issues like this one, for example. This cell is going beyond, well, the, the text is going beyond the cell. So I'm going to go to the line between these two columns and I'm going to change the cursor to this. And when I double click, it's going to auto format it so that, or it's auto resize it so that you get that so once we're done with that we just press ctrl p and you know we have it we have these settings we print on 8.5 by 11 so your regular uh, sheet of paper but we print landscape mode and for scale we fit it with normal margins normal everything and then when we print it out this is how it looks like and once that's done, I just give it to production and they make the shirts and that's all that we do. I hope that helps you speed up your process a little bit more. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I hope that was clear. I know that's a little bit fast. But it took us a little bit to figure out this process. So you're gonna need to practice a little bit before you can kind of master this. But yeah, but this is just, you know, using your Google Sheet so it's free and it makes your production process faster. And once all the shirts are done, then you can just you know grab those order slips at the pick list and start picking and packing and shipping so this is gerald with merch studio i hope that helped you out again if you want to use wigs we have an affiliate link below if you want to use it if not that's fine you know it's just a little bit to uh, help us out if you want to give us the hbo special you know hbo help a brother out if not it's okay you know the most important thing is that you learn something from us that you're able to use to build the systems and uh, streamline the processes in your business all right so this is gerald that's it for today let's make t-shirts